everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I have a project in mind for today, and let me take you through the thinking part of it. I like Ellen Crimmy, Ellen Crimmy Trent's tutorials on painting flowers, and I started this one yesterday on painting tulips. I don't think I'm very successful in making it quite realistic, but you know, it's a it's, it's a learning curve in the progress sort of thing. Anyway, that's besides the point. So this did not go well in my mind. So then I remembered that I had this book. This is called 20 Ways to Draw a Tulip by Lisa Congdon, who has classes on Creative Bug that I took about watercolor and drawing and that kind of stuff. And she ha mentioned, I think, that she has this book. And I remembered I had it on a bookcase. I thought, oh, well, maybe there's f other flowers in here. So I went through the book. And there's how to draw tulips. So this inspired, co-inspired with this is going to be my today's project. Now, I made this at Christmas. These are light bulbs that were stamped and then I um, colored them, watercolored them, and then cut them out. So I don't want to make, you know, light bulbs, but I do want to do tulips. And I thought maybe since spring is coming that I might like to do a watercolor tulip wreath. So that's what I'm going to do today is I'm going to draw a couple of these tulips and decide which one I like. I really just want basically the head of the tulip maybe a couple that are open yeah a couple that are open that kind of thing and then I'm going to make um, templates and I'm going to uh, I guess trace them I'm not really sure how this is going to go because you know I just got this idea like five seconds ago and I have some paper some watercolor paper and what I'll do is I'll draw all the tulips on the watercolor paper watercolor them cut them out make myself some kind of a form, you know, a round cardboard type form, and then glue all the tulips on to make a little wreath to hang on my craft room door. So that's my project for today. All right, let me get started. Okay, to start with, let me mention this, what kind of paper I'm going to use. This is bee paper, and it was gifted to me by my friend Lisa Swank because I said I had never used bee paper before. So I had a nice supply of it and I thought wow this will make a good paper for the project not too heavy not too light just the right size so I'm going to go ahead and sketch some of the tulips on here and then I will watercolor them and well you'll see I'll probably fast forward through the majority of this
Okay, so I got it finished, glued on all the leaves, did some pop dots under some of the last of the tulips, got some, I think this is three quarter inch grain ribbon for a bow, got some twine that I use for um, binding books. You can't see it, sorry, it's kind of a purple color. I used Fabri-Tac on it, but I didn't think it wasn't glue, it wasn't sticking. So what I did was I just took some random leftover white paper and slapped that down on top of the Fabri-Tac, and so that's on there for good. So there's a spring project for you. You don't have to be a great watercolorist to do this. I, I'm, you know, far from it, but it was fun, and it was stuff I had on hand, and that's it. Okay, this is it for me for now. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.